In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to screen record on a Chromebook. So if you want to make a video of your Chromebook screen so that you can make a video and show someone you clicking around on your Chromebook screen so they can watch it, in this video Timmy's going to show you how you can do that. So when you're on your Chromebook and you're on whatever you want to record, you'll just need to come down and click on the time in the bottom right corner here, and then click on screen capture up here. And now by default, it will want to be taking a screenshot of your screen, which Timmy made a video about in the previous video, so you can watch that if you want. But if you click on video down here, it will now be taking a video of your screen. So if you want to record your entire screen so that anything that happens on the screen will get recorded, you'll need to click on this button here and now it will just record your entire screen so you can be in Chrome, you can be in a different app, you can minimize all the apps if you want, anything that happens on your screen will be recorded. Or if you choose this button here, you'll get to choose a specific portion of the screen that you want to record, and Timmy will show you more about that in a minute. Or if you choose this option here, you'll get to choose a specific window you want to record. So maybe Chrome or maybe the Files app or a different app, you can choose a specific window to record, which can be cool. And also before you start recording, you might want to click on this settings icon and you can enable the microphone or not. So if you want to make a video where you're explaining what you're doing on the screen, you probably want to turn the microphone on and then your Chromebook will use its built-in microphone to record what you're saying while it's recording the screen. So you probably want to turn that on before you do any recording. But once you've chosen that, you can leave it off if you want, but once you've chosen that, Timmy's going to choose to record the entire screen now, and Timmy will get to the others in a minute. So when you're recording the entire screen, it'll say click anywhere to record full screen. So just click anywhere, and now it will count down 3, 2, 1. And now it is recording, and you'll see this red dot is down in the corner here, and you can click there to stop it when you want to stop it, but that'll tell you that it's recording. So now you can scroll around on a website you're on, or you can go to a different tab if you want, or you can click down here and pull up all your different apps, or you can open the Files app even, and you can just do anything you would do on your Chromebook and it will record it. And then if you click on the red dot down here when you're finished, it will stop recording and tell you that it's done. And now if you go into the Files app and double click on Downloads to open Downloads, you'll see this screen recording that you just made is here and you can watch it. So it's completely ready, you can send it to people or you can just keep it here and watch it again. So it's completely just recorded and now it's on your Chromebook. So that's really cool. But if you wanted to choose a different option, you could go back and click on Screen Capture again. You could choose this option so you could drag to select a specific area so maybe if you just wanted to only record where the files are in your files app and you don't want to record what's happening in the rest of your files app or on the rest of your screen for that matter you could select this and you can use these dots to drag it to a different spot if you want so maybe if you wanted to include this or you realized you had it slightly in the wrong spot here, you could drag it out a bit so it's a bit better. And then when you're ready, once you're happy with what you've selected, you can click on record here, and it will count down three, two, one again. And now it will be only recording what's inside this little highlighted box. So if you were to click on my files now, it would record this, but not everything here. And you could even go into other places, so Maybe if you go into camera or something, you would see stuff in the camera and you can just do whatever you want on your Chromebook and it will only record within this box. So even if you minimized the Files app and you're scrolling around in Google Chrome, it would only show you this little box of Google Chrome. And then once you're happy with it and you're finished with your video, you can click on the red dot again and it will finish recording and it's done. And the last option for recording on your Chromebook is to choose a specific window. So maybe if you wanted to record the Files app, you could pull up the Files app. And then if you go down into the right hand corner again and click on Screen Capture and you choose this window option that Timmy showed you earlier. Now, if you hover over the Files app, you'll see it's all blue. So that means if you clicked anywhere now on the Files app, it would start recording the Files app. 
or if you hover over Google Chrome, it'll make Google Chrome blue, or if you hover over the bookshelf, which is what you call where these icons are, it'll just record the bookshelf if you wanted to do that for some reason. But if you just click on the Files app, it will count down three, two, one, and now it will be recording the Files app. So anything that happens in the Files app will be recorded, and you can even move the Files app around, and it will follow you, the recording will follow the Files app, and you can just do anything you want in the Files app, and that will be recorded, and nothing else will be recorded. So that's all there is to that. And then you just click on the red dot again when you're finished, and it will finish with that. So that's really cool, and that's all there is to recording your screen on a Chromebook. Not too long ago, you would have had to install a Chrome extension to do this, and you can still do that, and there are some pretty good ones, but Timmy finds that this built-in feature is now way better than any of the Chrome extensions Timmy's used in the past, and it works really well and you don't have to install anything. So that's really cool, and if you want to see how to take a screenshot on your Chromebook, you can click on the link in the video description down below, and you can watch that video. But that's all there is to this video, so that's really cool. And if you found this helpful, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below, and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool, and Tim will see you in the next video.